Authentic Spirituality One of the fruits of being in the Spirit is the ability to live an authentic Christian life. By authentic, I mean living in such a manner that one does what is right regardless of what people are thinking or saying about him or her. The scribes and Pharisees were very good people who were making efforts to live out the demands of their religion yet Jesus had a problem with them. Why? Simply because of their hypocrisy. Their spirituality was not authentic, they lived for the people. They were nothing more than actors on stage trying their possible best to please the people whereas when the play is over and the lights are down, their true nature comes out. Jesus is not satisfied with the spirituality of hypocrisy. Jesus wants us to do better than being people pleasers. The Christian life is not to be lived from the outside based on external virtues that people can see rather it is a life that originates from the inside like a spring of water welling up to the outside. When the inside is dirty, there is no amount of show we put up that can justify us before the world. Of course, we can deceive people into thinking we are angels but God knows and sees the heart and God is more concerned about the worship from the heart, a worship in spirit and in truth. In the first reading, St. Paul gives us an insight into what authentic spirituality is all about. He says, it does not concern me in the least that I be judged by you or any human tribunal. I do not even pass judgment on myself, I am not conscious of anything against me. In other words, Paul was never concerned about what people were saying about him, he wasn't a people pleaser, he wasn't a politician trying to win the admiration of the people, he did not care about whether the people were saying good things about him or bad. He knew that there was nothing he would do to make everybody like him so all he cared about was to please God rather than men. He would not even judge himself because he knew only God was the capable judge and his conscience was very clean. Only a person living out an authentic spirituality can talk like this as we struggle to live out our Christian life, there are bound to be moments when our actions are misunderstood and misinterpreted by others. No matter how hard we try, we can never please everybody and we cannot stop people from running their mouths. If the essence of our Christianity is to make people say good things about us, then we would only end up being frustrated hypocrites. If the essence of our Christianity is to make people say good things about us, then we would only end up being frustrated hypocrites. No matter how perfect we are, people would still have something negative to say about us. No matter how Jesus tried, people still had negative things to say about him. Today, they came to him to ask how come you and your disciples do not fast? After all the disciples of John fasted and the disciples of the Pharisees fast. Can you imagine? Fasting has become the basis for judging who is holy or not. So the fact that Jesus and his disciples were not fasting has become an issue, an occasion to question their spirituality. Were they judging Jesus and his disciples correctly? Of course no. They called Jesus a glutton, a man who had no control of his appetite, a man who could not even fast. They wondered how such a man who eats freely in the open view of others claimed to be the Son of God. You see, if Jesus was so misjudged by the people of the time, who are we not to be misjudged even worse? You see, human judgment is always going to be false and those things you feel about others will never be correct because you need to be God to understand the full picture, you need to be God to know why this person or that person acts like this or that. In the end, St. Paul was absolutely right when he said, Therefore, do not make any judgment before the appointed time, until the Lord comes, for he will bring to light what is hidden in darkness. Stop judging other people and stop being so concerned about what people say about you because they are never true.
No human judgment is correct. Just live your life to satisfy your conscience. Please God rather than men. Be authentic Christians. Be real. Be good and let your goodness flow from inside out. Never believe that there is anything in this life that is secret. An authentic Christian does not have a secret life. You see, the fact that people aren't watching what you do behind closed doors does not make it right. It only makes you a hypocrite. And you can never be happy deep within because your conscience tells you that you are simply being an actor rather than an authentic Christian. Stop living your life on the stage, be real. Be authentic. Do not do things to look good before others, do things because you know it is right. Let us pray, send down your spirit O Lord and renew the face of the earth. Transform us by your spirit that we may do exploits in your name O Lord. May your Holy Spirit enlighten our path and lead us to live out authentic Christian lives. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good morning. Be happy. Have faith. Live positive. It is well with you.